A few weeks ago, I was re-watching Lord of the Rings, and a few hours into the experience, I was getting pretty hungry since, you know, the movies are so long. And I started to notice some weird things. Maybe I was just hungry, but we need to talk about Lundbis bread. So I'm a definitive expert on this subject. I've read The Hobbit, I've read Lord of the Rings, I've read The Silmarillion, and I do follow the meme pages. You don't want to fight me on this, or else I'm gonna go all scary Bilbo on you. This is a silly video about silly fantasy things, and if you get mad at me, I will be sad. So yeah, like I said, we need to talk about Lundis bread. Let's get to it. In the movie, it's introduced as this meal replacement type cracker thing that the elves make and you can just nibble on it and it's great. Here on the internet, you'll see people making Lumbus bread, but the actual energy density of this thing is absolutely bonkers. Legolas even says, one bite is enough to fill the stomach of a grown man. How many did you have? Four? Pippin ate four of these. So it's not like it actually expands to fill your stomach. He's clearly avoided the feeling of overeating. Lumbus bread is basically an energy bar or a protein bar type of thing, right? So later on in the movie, Sam and Frodo are pretty much exclusively eating Lumbus bread for an extended period of time. Since Smeagol hates nasty elf bread, let's just assume it's only Sam and Frodo eating the Lumbus bread. Like any casual fan of Lord of the Rings, I know that the breaking of the Fellowship took place on February 26th, whereas the Ring of Power was destroyed on March 25th. And since the year 3019 of the Third Age is a leap year, there is exactly 28 days between when Sam and Frodo leave the West Bank at Amon Het and when they arrive at Mount Doom in Mordor. Yes, at some points they did take breaks and they ate things that weren't Lumbus bread. They did take breaks from Lumbus bread to eat things like conies, to hang out with Faramir, and to hang out with Shelob. She Shelob? 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 So I'm just gonna assume that they took one bite of Lumbus bread per day. It's not great, but it's the best that they can do. Since, you know, one bite is enough to fill the stomach of a grown man. But wait! Sam and Frodo aren't men. They're hobbits. Active hobbits. Let's do some calculating. So Sam and Frodo are physiologically a little bit different from one another, but for the sake of this not being terribly boring, I'm just gonna assume that they're the average. The average hobbit is three foot six, and weighs about 70 pounds, we're just gonna use those stats. Frodo is 51 and Sam is 39. What? Side note, the age gap is actually pretty much the same but the opposite way in real life. Sean Astin is 10 years older than Elijah Wood. But hobbits live to be about 100 and they only come of age when they are 33. So Sam and Frodo are kind of young adults, right? So for the sake of calculating their energy requirements on a human calculator, I'm gonna say they're about the equivalent of a 30 year old human man. We're dealing with active men, about three foot six, 70 pounds and 30 years old. Throwing that into a calculation, we end up with a daily caloric need of about 1400 calories. So for one whole square thingy of Lumbus, we end up calculating 12,600 calories. Um, okay. I'm gonna put this into context for you. So one Lumbus bread is equal to 50 Cliff Bars or 24 Big Macs or six and a half boxes of Oreos, or one Michael Phelps day of eating. Dude, that is so intense. Why do elves even need to do this? For their days of playing the harp, reading poetry, drinking craft beer. Seriously, why do they need this? I just don't get it. But what I also don't get is, what is even in Lumbus bread that makes it so intense? What ingredient are they even using? Lumbus bread is apparently made from corn, which is the silly, funny British way of saying grain. So it's probably wheat. 
But of course, since we're dealing with fancy schmancy elves, it's described as this perfect wafer that's kind of sweet, perfectly cooked, and just really nice to eat. Unless you're Gollum. And this brings up way more questions than it answers. What the heck kind of magic is going on here? What kind of genetically modified magic wheat are the elves using? Gollum might have been onto something when he was calling it nasty elf bread. Well, that's it. That's all I have to say on the subject. It's over. If you had to choose between Lembus and Potatoes, which would you choose? Leave me a comment down below to let me know your choice, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can join my 14 other subscribers. See you next time when I explain the answer to things that nobody was asking.